Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, Indian economist, social reformer, political leader, jurist and framer of the Indian constitution in brief, quick brief presentation. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar was born on 14th April 1891 in the Mahar family at Maho in Indore, present-day Madhya Pradesh. Ramabai was his first wife. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar married for the second time in 1948. His second wife was Sharda Kabir, who adopted the name Savita Ambedkar. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar did his matriculation in 1907 from Elphinstone School at Bombay Presidency. Bhimrao Ambedkar attended Elphinstone College in Bombay. His Highness Sayajirav Maharaja Gaikwad of Baroda gave him a scholarship. His Highness Sayajirav further financed his education at Columbia University in New York, where he studied economics, sociology, political philosophy, and moral philosophy and finally earned his PhD in economics. In 1917, he joined the law course at Gray Inn in London and was called to the bar. He worked as a military secretary to Maharaja Gaikwad for a short time. Explore the description of this video to maintain the continuity for making further notes for short answers and MCQs. Now begins a fleeting glimpse into a significant social upliftment movement for depressed classes in India, the substantial organizational activities, and the writings of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar. Could you take note of them? They are not exhaustive but enough to prepare for examinations and create rough outlines for more profound studies. Organizations established by Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar In 1924 Bahishkrit Sabha, English Translation Depressed Classes Institute, was founded in Bombay. The prime motive was to educate, organize, and agitate. Please remember the slogan. Educate, organize, agitate. In 1927, he established Samaj Samapta Sangha. Social equality between caste Hindus and untouchables. Satyagraha organized by Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar. Mahad Satyagraha was organized in 1927. It aimed to promote social freedom for Dalits to use water from public wells and tanks. In 1932, Dr. Ambedkar organized Parvati Temple Satyagraha in Pune to gain Dalit's entry into the temple. From 1932-1935, Dr. Ambedkar organized Kalaram Temple Satyagraha in Nasik, Maharashtra, to gain Dalit temple access. Political Parties Organized by Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar Independent Labour Party The party participated in the 1937 election and won 14 out of 65 seats contested in the Bombay Legislative Assembly. Dr. Ambedkar was the leader of the opposition in the assembly until the end of 1939. He organized the Scheduled Caste Federation in 1942. The Scheduled Caste Federation participated in the 1946 election. In 1947, Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar was elected a member of the Constituent Assembly from Bengal. He was invited to join the cabinet as a law minister. He was entrusted with drafting constitutions and was elected chairman of 15 committees of the Constituent Assembly. The constitution drafted by the Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar Drafting Committee was finally adopted as the Constitution of India on 26th November 1949. Education Activities and News Journals Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar established a chain of schools, colleges and hostels under the People Education Society, founded in 1945. He started Muknayak, leader of the dump, a newspaper, meant to highlight the plight of depressed classes. Lashkrit Bharat was another newspaper. He started in 1923. Later, the name of the newspaper was changed to Janta People. Major research publications and books. Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, doctoral thesis. Submitted for his D.Sc, Doctor of Science in Economics. From the London School of Economics, LSE, in 1923. Was titled, The Problem of the Rupee, Its Origin and Its Solution. His thesis on the problem of the rupee is widely recognized due to its impact on Indian economic thought. The second important thesis of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar is the evolution of provincial finance in British India. He also wrote a PhD dissertation at Columbia University titled The Evolution of Provincial Finance in British India, which explored the financial relationship between the British government and Indian provinces. The book Rise and Fall of Hindu Women analyzes the changing status of women in Hindu society, significantly demonstrating how their position deteriorated due to certain religious, social, and legal customs imposed by Orthodox Hinduism. The book Who Were Shudras by Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar traces the historical and social origin of the Shudra social caste. He shows that Shudras were the warrior class that was marginalized due to power struggles and religious manipulation. Revolution and Counter-Revolution presents a historical narrative of India's socio-religious transformations where Ambedkar frames the conflict between Buddhism as a revolution and Brahmanism as a counter-revolution as central to understanding the development of caste oppression and inequality in India. The book, What Congress and M.K. Gandhi Have Done to the Untouchable, written by Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, presents a sharp critique of the Congress Party and Gandhi. 
arguing that they failed to champion the cause of Dalit rights and instead preserved the status quo of upper caste dominance. Dr. Ambedkar's Castes in India critique of castes was not just about social injustice but also aimed at addressing the economic and political disempowerment of marginalized communities. His later decision to convert to Buddhism, along with millions of his followers in 1956, was seen as a rejection of Hinduism's caste system. In his work, Annihilation of Caste, 1936, Ambedkar called for the complete destruction of the caste system. He argued that reform from within Hinduism was not possible and that the caste system could only be abolished through radical social and political action. The Buddha and his Dhamma, published in 1957 after the death of Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar, propounded that Buddhism is a rational, ethical philosophy that offers a solution to India's social inequalities, particularly the caste system. Riddles of Hinduism was published in 1987 after Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar died in 1951. The book promotes the idea that Hinduism, as it has been interpreted and practiced through its scriptures and religious traditions, is inherently contradictory, irrational, and unjust. Dr. Ambedkar did not fully endorse the idea of Pakistan and did not oppose it. He criticized Hindu nationalism and the Muslim League's communal approach and proposed a federation of states. The central thesis of the book Rise and Fall of Hindu Women is that the fall in the status of women in Hindu society was not accidental but the result of deliberate social engineering by patriarchal religious texts and customs, especially the Brahmanical laws, which institutionalized gender inequality. Subscribing to the channel for similar presentations and facts collection will be a discerning move. Explore the description to locate the URL of the blog wherein the transcript of the overvoice is reproduced. That may help to prepare the notes.